Everybody, everybody, you have flooded my DMs. I don't even know if you guys know what I'm talking about now. And I really got to start giving everyone backgrounds. I just assume everyone's up on everything, but you're probably not. That's probably why you come here. So I'll try to do that more. Oh, you know what I want to talk about? We'll go back to that in a second. The Envy Fashion Show, the Envy Fashion Show. Didn't really see any fashions that I haven't seen before from Alyssa. Everyone was there. Obviously, Teresa wasn't. I mean, this is not a joke. Listen, I'm not coming for the Gorgas. I'm the one that said I thought Melissa did a great job. I thought she won the reunion last year. Okay? thought she did better than Teresa. So I can give Melissa and Joey his, their props when they, they, they just make it so hard. They make it so hard. Why are you making it hard for me, Messy G? Why? I would love to sit here and give you your props every week, girl. But... You make it hard. So this video, like it's, listen, it takes a lot to make me cringe. I mean, I have a filthy mouth. I have such a jaded, I say realistic view of the world. <sighs> this video. So I don't know if everyone's seen it. There's a video of Joe Gorga, little Joey, Josefina, my girl, Josefina, talking to the models that are going to walk the runway in envy and he everyone has to find this video if you haven't seen it he's saying like i wish i had tits in an ass i wish i had tits in an ass let me tell you give me tits give me an ass and basically trying to pump up these models now i mean first of all i'm just assuming and I don't want to come for melissa i'm assuming a lot of these models are told they're going to work for free Listen to my expose on the Gorgas, you know, housewarming party. I've heard other things that Melissa will have hair and makeup there for hours. I mean, I've heard this directly from the people that did the hair and makeup for hours and hours and just be like, oh, I'm sorry I didn't pay you and this and that. Let's not even get into that right now. I'm just assuming these models are working for free for a credit on RHONJ or... I don't know, to say they walked in the Envy Melissa Gorga fashion show. Never work for free, you guys. Unless you're working behind the velvet rope. But by the way, I have interns right now. They're getting paid. Just FYI. Let me tell you something, okay? This generation, man. This generation. I, I This is like a long time ago. Like maybe like in my second year of business. I had interns. The only time I didn't pay the interns is when they got school credit. You have to do one or the other. You have to. It's a Condé Nast lawsuit. Let's not forget that I ran HR at Martha Stewart. There was a lawsuit at Condé Nast. You either need to pay your interns. You don't have to pay interns if they get school credit. If someone out there is an intern and you are not getting school credit, like, I mean, it says internship with three credits and you get a grade a, or a pass or fail, whatever, you have to get credits. If you don't and you're not getting paid, call a lawyer, Okay. So the only time I didn't pay an intern was, you know, I had, but it was through the school. They were getting credit. But I once had an intern that was trying to get school credit and then she couldn't. And so like, well, was, I decided we were going to pay her. She worked for like a week. It is like, I want more money. And I'm like, sure. So my point is, what is going on with this generation? Everyone wants a raise after like a day. Anyway getting off track here i don't even oh so these models anyway so joey gorga is like saying i wish i had tits and ass and i understand the sentiment of him pumping the girls up but i don't know if this video to me was so i cringed it was so misogynistic it was so just like I mean, you're a straight man and you're obviously attracted to some of these girls and now you're close to them and you're talking about their tits and their asses. And someone slipped into my DMs and said, I think Joey has a drinking problem. I don't know if he's like Shannon Bedore level, but I mean, I don't really think he does. But that video really cringed me the fuck out. This is what I want to talk about before we move on. I don't know enough about this, but, and I really... I have said this before. I really, truly have no problem currently with Margaret Josephs. I've said that. I personally don't. We'll leave it at that. That's all the information everyone needs to know right now. But 
I can also be objective. And so I just, I don't like when things are like, I really don't like when things are really real world. And New Jersey is just so fucking toxic. So I truly don't know what is going on. I mean, I love Housewife Historian. We love her. I don't know what's going on with Housewife Historian and like Melissa's old nose is now involved. Shout out to all these Instagram accounts. Listen, I'm all for everybody doing their thing and getting their bag. You know what I mean? I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry that I have allergies. I really am. I can't stop the video. We have to keep going. You guys want to hear something this week. So listen, so I don't know. So I really haven't looked into this. I know there's a podcast out there. Everyone sent me and they're like, you need to listen to this. So I just, I don't know. Like I think Housewife Historian is now banned from Instagram for a minute. And I think, I mean, I saw parts of it that I don't know. I don't know enough about it. I think like Margaret is saying historian was going after her business, which uh, like I, I don't like when it gets to the real world stuff. You know, and Margaret's saying like cease and desist and the police are involved. I'm not making any comments. I'm not taking any sides. I'm just saying like, I do, I support all my people, my bloggers. I love you all. And I mean, I've historian I've met, like, I think, right. Yeah. I mean, not, I think I've met her of course, and she's wonderful. So I don't know. And then they thought it was Trey Fab. I don't know. Shout out to everyone. I don't know. Jersey is toxic. Jersey is toxic. I just, that's all I'm going to say. So I, I really don't know enough about it. I didn't listen to the podcast. I haven't really heard back from people that I need to hear back from. So I'm going to reserve my comments until next week. Do not read into anything I just said. I'm not going to have, like, I just, I want, I love my historian. I love Melissa's old nose and, you know, and I really have no problems with Mart. So I am not getting involved in it. I get involved in enough, but I hope that it just, uh, I don't know. I don't like to see anybody down and out when it's really, and I mean that on all sides. Like I don't like businesses being affected. I really don't. Like it's one thing to say that I really don't. I'm not trying to take down Melissa just because I had, again, I've said this before. A few weeks ago, someone who was at Melissa's housewarming said, I was there. They presented proof. I'm like, you were there. I see it with my own eyes. Tell me everything. It wasn't so complimentary to Melissa and Joe. Last week, I had on a woman, Nicole, who I loved, who has no reason to lie. Apparently, it's become a thing on like Reddit or something, and people are fighting over it and saying that she was paid for the interview. People are reaching out to me. Did you pay her? Did you not pay her? I mean, but the point is... The point is that people then, a lot of people, oh, you scumbag, I was starting. People are like, it is, it is. I do find it hypocritical in the sense that my initial issue with Margaret, which I don't even have anymore, was that I, I felt she was trying to influence this podcast with that whole Melissa and Nick thing, which we're way past that, which I can't come for Margaret when everybody does that to me. Past co-hosts do that to me. Don't talk about the all of you do that to me. So everybody who likes Melissa, who loves David Yanta, loves Behind the Velvet Rope, all of a sudden you hated me when I came for Melissa. Lots of others of you like